What is going on everyone? Welcome back to our Ratchet series. This is episode 13 and let's start off by going back into the ship. As you remember from our previous episode in number 12 we completed Metropolis and we also got back our good old Clank so now we have to return to the Phoenix and see what's gonna go on here. See what other planets we have to complete. I think we're almost done with the game guys. I'm recording this on Wednesday and this video should be up on probably Thursday or so, just depending. We did get a nice snowfall on Wednesday, and I wasn't able to go to the park, unfortunately, because I just, uh, honestly, guys, I wasn't feeling it. It was really cold and just wanted to chill out today <laughs> and uh, hopefully try to finish this game today. Just hours ago, bio-obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared, and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from Planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. Of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. Oh, jeez. All right, guys. Everyone's acting like Nefarious has already won. Maybe he has. If we don't find those bio-obliterators soon, we're all going to be robots. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Wait a second. Before the Star Cruiser blew up, didn't Quark say he was trying to find something? Yeah. It's a long shot, but I guess it's worth a try. The cruiser went down on planet Zeldrin. We'll go check out the crash site. Maybe we can find what Quark was looking for. Okay, guys, let's go to planet Zeldrin. And if you remember in the last episode, I uh, purchased some new weapons, the Flux Rifle, Hollow Shield Glove, as well as Agents of Doom. So we have a bunch of uh, weapons now to choose from. And let's go into the ship. I'm super excited, guys. I want to see what this level is all about again the crash site all right i know eventually we're gonna have to go to find captain cork i think in a later mission we go ahead and look for him as well <clears throat> okay guys let's do this i'm gonna try to keep this at maybe 20 minutes today <laughs> i promise that a lot but i'll try to stick to that time frame all right, crash site. Maybe we'll find Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> wow, look at this. This is pretty beautiful. Okay, what's this over here? I guess we could go this way. Okay, let's see. Oh no, that's how we ride back to our ship. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with the Annihilator, I think. Oh gosh. Uh, you know what? Let's go back. I'm gonna switch over to Disc Blade. Because in the last episode, I was really trying to upgrade this. Yes. Okay, there we go. Volume 3. Oh, and now we got the Ricochet. Look at this, guys. This thing is like unbeatable now. Sweet. There we go. How much do we have now? 20? Uh, you know what? I'll keep it at that. Oh, guys, we also have a section over here. What's this? Oh, here's the bolt. Look at this, the titanium bolt. It was hiding right over here. I'm glad I noticed that, guys. That's perfect. Okay, so we got the titanium bolt right off the bat. That's good. <clears throat> I remember this level being really tricky as a kid. I don't know why, but... Uh, okay, disc blade gun. Nice. Wow, this thing is powerful. Look at this. Damn. Totally destroy those enemies. Oh, 
Nice, guys. Okay, now let's. I'm gonna try to get this mini turret upgraded as well. Beautiful. Let's get all the. Oh, look, there's the, the prize up here. Man, we're finding everything in this episode. Perfect. Your trophies are displayed in the trophy room. Cool, so we could go back and get our trophies. Cool, I thought we were going to get killed there. This Inferno mode actually really isn't helpful right now. Oh, look at that. He's taking out our enemies for us. That's nice. Beautiful. Oh, plus we got the jackpot. Look at this. Oh my god, guys. This is insane. Holy crap. We're gonna get 16,000. Oh my god. We could almost buy the uh, rift inducer. That's going to be my next thing, probably. Uh, let's go to the Spitting Hydra. Holy shit, that thing destroyed us. Is there still health here? Yeah. Alright, let's go back. Thank God for that health. Switch to the Hurricane. Oh shit, guys. Okay, let's switch Nitro Launcher time. Damn, that was insane. I think we finally made it here, though. Oh god. Sweet. <clears throat> okay, let's go here. Ooh. Perfect. Oh god, this is... Man, this is tri tricky. Come on, mini turrets. Yes! We're gonna rank those up as well. This is such a fun level, I love this. And we're getting some health too, so that's good. Okay. <coughs> Hyper shot time. And we're at a checkpoint. Perfect. It's an escape pod. It must have come from the Star Cruiser. And look! Footprints! Someone else made it off that ship alive. <coughs> we must have just missed them. This pocket crotchetizer is still warm. Ew. Oh my gosh. Was recently made using the pod's emergency communicator. Pocket crotchetizer. Here we go, Someone guys. Taxi. I, uh, I need a cab to come get me right away. Whoa, this must be my lucky day. So where can I pick you up, sweet cheeks? Uh, I'm, a, I'm on planet Zeldrin. Just look for the gigantic Rex Star Cruiser. You can't miss it. Rex Star Cruiser, huh? You sound like a girl who knows how to party. What say you and me go to the cyber disco later on? Watch it, buddy. I mean, don't get fresh with me. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I couldn't help myself with me. A woman like you in a dress like that. Oh, this, this is something I threw together. <laughs> so where you headed? <laughs> then get here and 
if you keep this quiet, there's another five volts in it for you. Oh, one more thing. You have to have a spare charge back for this thing. P20 crotchetizer, huh? It just gets better every second. Oh, jeez. I should have known. What? That Quark had his sister? Huh? <laughs> no, no, that he's still alive. That was Quark. Oh. But why did he not report back to the Phoenix? Because he wants us to think he's dead. I don't like it, Clank. Until we know what Quark is up to, we should keep this quiet. If the Q-Force finds out that Quark ran out on us, they might lose hope. I understand. I do not like it. But I understand. Hey, what's he got there? It Was that a vid comment? Quark must have taken it from the Star Cruiser. That must be what he went back for. Let's get back to the Phoenix and decode it. Cool, guys. We got the master plan. All right. Now let's refill our ammo here. 129,000. Okay, so we're almost there. At full capacity. Well, not full capacity, but... We're gonna have a lot of bolts, that's for sure. Oh, God. Perfect. I want to get these mini turrets up because they really help you out in the final boss battle with Dr. Nefarious. Okay, where do we have to go now? Oh, do we have to go back over there? That was strange. Hold on, guys, let's take a look here. Oh, we can go up here, I forgot. Jesus is challenging. All right, made it over this. Can we throw the mini turn, I wonder. Oh, it does work. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, let's wait here, guys. Son of a bitch, guys. Alright, you know what? Let's go and switch to the... Disc Blade. Perfect. I forgot I still had that. <laughs> oh god. It's like never ending. Is that it? Ooh. Yes. Okay, we did it, guys. <clears throat> Made it to the top. Now we can finally get back to our ship as well. I think we just have to go here. Yep. Oh, beautiful. We did it, guys. And I think I'm going to keep it as this for this episode today. So this is all the way back to our ship. Made one big loop. Perfect, guys. Like a battle than a party. 
You guys just hang in there. I'll be there as soon as I can. Okay, so we have to go to the outpost on Iridia. That's our next planet. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to stop here for today because we got a lot completed within a short amount of time, and it's a nice, quick episode. So I really hope you enjoyed this crash site episode, and stay tuned for more content coming soon, guys.